Are you tired of having to jump around all day? Or of getting lost in rabbit holes you didn't even know existed? Or struggling to even know where you're supposed to look next to find what you have to do? If that's the case, then it's time to ditch that array of apps that you call your productivity system. I know it sounds impossible, but it can be done. It exists, and that is Anki Flow. Hi everyone and welcome back to Plan for Productivity. For those of you who are new, my name is Andrea and this video is a part of my bigger series on how to build a second brain. In case you haven't seen that, the idea is for me to show you how you can actually organize your entire digital life in a simple and accessible way. I use four different sections in order to organize my second brain and the one we're covering in this video specifically is the action zone. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to organize everything from tasks, events, meetings, projects and the tasks that have to go into the projects and i'm gonna show you how to keep your entire productivity system in one app this video is actually sponsored by anki flow and i am so excited to share this with you guys because i have been looking for this solution for such a long time i've been really good about organizing my life in different applications from notion to todoist to sunsama to notes app to all of these different things the problem i always had was being able to stay in one application during the day and this app has finally made that possible so i'm going to walk you through how i use that and i'm going to walk you through how to create your entire action zone or productivity system pretty much from scratch so grab your cup of coffee and let's get started a productivity system is basically a collection of notes and apps that allow you to organize the things that you need to do. And that's the key part of it. Unlike the second brain where you're storing a lot of information that you might not even need to access in months, the information that is stored in your productivity system and the way that it's organized is all tailored to taking action, which is why I call it the action zone in my little acronym for second brain. These things basically run your entire life. And that's good news because it means that you can actually just rely on that instead of having to make those decisions throughout the entire day. There's two components to this. There's the actual, what I call productivity system. That is the actual tasks that you need to do. And the way they're organized into like your calendar, along with your events, meetings, like the way you handle your time and therefore your tasks is your productivity system. And then there's the information that feeds those tasks. So for example, the goals that you have and the breakdown of each of those goals, the projects that you're working on and all the steps that involve completing those projects, all of these notes regarding the things that you're taking action on are part of this action zone and I call those specifically my headquarters. The idea of this is that you're going to rely on your notes that are inside your headquarters to inform what it is that you need to do and therefore what goes into your task management, calendar management, productivity system. So let's hop onto my computer and let me walk you through that. I use the notes app as the base of my entire second brain. This is where I capture the vast majority of my information. Within my notes app, I have a folder that is called the headquarters. And in this one, I have five folders. Number one is going to be the compass, which I actually covered on my video on how to plan your year. The idea with this folder is basically a collection of notes that kind of help me organize what the vision for my life is, those like really long-term things and the things that are kind of core to how I run my life in general. But these are not very specific things I'm working on. Why I think it's important for you to have one is anything that determines how you're running your life in general could go in here. And having the clarity and having a space where you capture that is going to help you to kind of know what those routines are and when you need to make changes. The second folder is called the game plan. And this is the one that actually has to do with goals and how I structure my goals and everything. And the way I do that is I do quarterly goals or 12 week goals. And I have one list where it's like the quarter page in which I have the goals that I'm you know, working on for that quarter. I have a breakdown of them at the bottom and then maybe some ways to keep track of them in here. What I actually plan for every single week is the weekly page for this thing. Typically, I will write the objectives for the week. These come from the quarterly goals I'm working on, right? So the game plan houses specifically what you're working on, if it's like a yearly goal or your quarterly goals and the breakdown of each of those goals. So this is basically my goals page or my goals folder. Right under that, I have the projects, which is another thing that's going to feed my tasks that I have to do, in which I have the projects that are ongoing at the moment. Once I am done with those, I specifically move them to this folder where I have have all my completed projects. This is where I keep every single project I'm working on, including videos from this page. I'm going to actually send stuff 
to my task manager. The next one is all the checkpoints. These are basically all the checklists and routines that run my life pretty much. Finally, the last one is Dominion. This one, I've talked about it a lot on my channel. This is the idea that you kind of keep a list of all the little areas of your life that you are kind of in charge of or that you need to have a handle on at all times. These are the ones that I found for me. And what I do is that I have this like main page where I can see all of them at a glance and then if there's more details on each one so for example let's do home i can click on that it's going to send me directly into the note and then i have like the things that i need to do consistently in order to make sure that this stays afloat my goal is what order looks like really in this specific area these five folders and the collection of these notes are basically the things that run my life and i think that for you specifically you need a version of what your goals are and how they're broken down you need a version of what projects you're working on at all times and you need a version of the checklist that you use consistently and you need a version of what the minions of your life are so i think that this is honestly something very copy pasteable <laughs> you know what i mean this is something you can make your own but really it's a framework that's going to help you kind of see at a glance what all of the things that you're working on are honestly when it comes to the week i'm going to go to my game plan I'm gonna look at my quarterly goals and the things that I had to do, and I'm going to make a new weekly page in which I'm going to write what my objectives for each one of those goals is for the week. This, I'm gonna probably look at my projects and anything that I have to do. So for example, let's see, let's say that I have to look at apartments for where we're gonna move. I will actually send that to my task manager. So look at, apartments let's say i'm gonna do that on monday right and send that directly into my task database that's how i like to kind of bridge this gap between the information that you need for a project so you know phone numbers emails deadlines the outline of how you're gonna go about that project the breakdown the sub checklists or whatever and your to-do list. I like to have a place where all of that lives and then I have like to have a place where all of the things that are actually on my plate, tasks that I'm working on, live. And that is AnkiFlow. So let me show you how I handle my tasks. AnkiFlow is basically a daily planning app. I would say that's where it shines the most and specifically it is an app that allows you to integrate tasks with calendar seamlessly that's the magic of this application honestly and what actually makes it possible to have everything everything your entire system your entire things that you need to do in one place and never have to leave this place in the entire day like you don't have to check back in with your calendar or check back in with another task database or another list or anything it looks a little bit overwhelming i don't think i have anything too secret here so i'm just gonna show you the entire thing but the idea is that you have your tasks grouped into separate categories and they live in the left side of your screen and then you have your calendar on the right side of the screen which you can kind of you know adjust to however you want to see it i know that looks very confusing now but trust me i'll show you how <laughs> it actually works and you can seamlessly drag things from your task list into your calendar and of course you can assign how long something should take and that will be taken into account so let's say i want this task to take me two hours just so you can clearly see the difference in the calendar when i drag it into the calendar it's going to give me a two hour block and that to me is magical because it makes it so realistic how we actually need to calendar block now the structure of the application is pretty normal. You're going to have your labels or categories or projects if you've used uh, other applications, whatever you want to call them, but these are going to be the way that you categorize your tasks and then you have uh, tags. Obviously, just like any other to-do list application, things can live in only one specific label, but things that are tagged can be in whatever label you want so just like any good to-do list application you're going to have an inbox and you're going to have a very simple way of quick adding to your inbox either straight through here on the inbox or you know with the little keyboard pop-up command center thing here so new task in inbox and it's going to appear right on your inbox you can add as much information as you want to this task you can already give this, for example, a label, you can give it a tag, you can give it a duration, let's say 45 minutes, you can give it a date even, 
a deadline. You can give it pretty much any information that you want. Of course, we love this for quick capture because guess what part of your second brain is very important and it's being able to capture information quickly, just how you saw. Let's go into how I actually organize this app and how you can apply this to your own system. Number one is obviously the categories. So the way I like to think of categories is that they have to be very, very, very obvious to you. So either different areas of your life. You can also have categories that help you just differentiate what mode you have to be on. And then the way I like to use tags is to help me batch things, emails or calls or admin. That could be a tag that you use. The idea is that the tags are going to help you to group things that are alike together so that you can get to them around the same time. And then finally, the third way that I like to organize every single task is through priorities. Let's say get stuff done. These are things that I have to do at some point. The prioritization system in this application works with streetlight. Oh my God, I forgot the word in English. Oh, so you're gonna have high priority in red, medium priority in yellow and low priority in green. And so what I do is that every single task I input, I, I off the bat give it like either medium, or low priority or no priority. These are going to be the great ones. This means that when I'm looking at this list right here, so let's say I got into my get stuff done and I want to see what I can actually add to my weekly list or to today, I can very easily just look at the colors here and know, oh, this is more, this is important. This is probably important. I don't even have to read the rest. I know that those two are the things I should do first. The basic system for organizing your tasks is actually very simple. Every single task, whether you sent it from a goal or a project or a dominion or anything that just came up into your list that goes into your application is going to have probably a area of your life, so a label and some level of priority. Okay. That's the main way that I organize how to go from knowing how the app works, let's say, to actually making a plan for the day or the week, which is going to allow you to only use one app throughout the day. And that is planning the week, in my opinion. I like to plan the week by going into my notes app, right? My headquarters, and I will make a new week. I have a template. I'm gonna put week three, I'm gonna put the date, and then I'm going to look into my goals, look into my projects, and come up with objectives that I actually want to get done this week. So again, as you can see, I'm going through my headquarters and I'm picking the things that I actually have to do this week. As you're going through these lists, there might be random little tasks that pop up. So let's say I'm looking at the Utah move and I'm like, oh, I don't know, like call to get apartment tours. This would be get stuff done and I send it to my inbox. Great. So now I have in my inbox things that I kind of want to get done that week. And I have in my notes app, the objectives for the week. So what you're going to do is make sure that this and the high priority items that you want to get done are in your to-do list app, either already assigned a day or just hanging around in your inbox. Do I check in on my weekly page? Yeah, I check in in the morning. Just I want to see where I'm at, what I have already done. After I check in in the morning, I don't look at it again. I don't look at my notes list pretty much at all unless i'm like i don't know working on a specific project and i need some information so honestly anki flow becomes your daily driver it becomes the application that you're just looking at every day and throughout the day so it's integrated with my google calendar you can see that these are events from my calendar this is a two-way sync so whatever i edit here will be reflected on my google calendar which is great for sharing great for all that stuff but i don't have to go onto my calendar right? I can look at it from here. I don't have to log into my calendar at all. You can connect AnkiFlow with Asana. If you use that for work, you can connect it to Todoist. You can connect it to a bunch of different things, even your email. So you can send things directly to your AnkiFlow from those applications. So that works really well because again, everything will be in here consolidated into one place where you can actually plan your day and your weeks. I personally rely a lot on my weekly blueprint. I made a whole video that I'll leave over here. I create kind of like a template of what my week should look like. And these empty spaces are for work. So that's where I'm going to drag my tasks onto. So for example, let's say when it comes to planning your day, it's going to be Monday. I have already assigned the things that I wanted to do on Monday. So let's say I wanted to read the first chapter. Oh, I have physical therapy. I'm going to have to drive, drive back. Let's say 10 a.m. I have time from 10 to 11.30 to read the chapter. That should be more than enough to finish it. And the look at apartments example, let's say I have all that. Oh, this is gonna take me four hours. You can just drag or two hours, whatever. 
over there and drag tasks as you go. So what this does is that it makes it very easy for you to visualize your day and for you to actually integrate time blocking from your to-do list into your calendar seamlessly. Honestly, this has very quickly become the application that I use to run my entire life, specifically my entire day. This way you're not getting distracted by all the notes that are related to your project by all the little extra details that might be in your note-taking application, you can just focus on the things that you need to do and only look at the things that you need to do for the day. Number one, whatever note tap that you're using, whatever the base for your second brain is, create a headquarters that's going to allow you to know everything that's going on in your life. Use the five subcategories that I told you. My absolute favorite for this has been the note tap, but you can also use Notion, for example, or whatever your favorite note tap is. Pick a to-do list app. Now there's a lot of different apps that you can use. Whatever your favorite to-do list app is fine. If you want a solution of one place, one app for your entire productivity system, give Ankyflow a shot. I think you're gonna love it. Whatever app you're going to use, make sure that you are creating labels or categories for the different areas of your life and that you have an idea of how you would like to prioritize. You might wanna do something similar with your calendar where you can actually separate it into different areas of your life and buckets. Number four, if you wanna go this extra mile is that you wanna create a little bit of a weekly blueprint or skeleton for your week. Number five, implement a system. Every week, make sure set an alarm, set reminders, whatever you want but make sure to go through your headquarters folder go through your projects goals dominions and take out any tasks that you think that you might want to accomplish this week send them to your task manager pick the objectives for the week pick the things that you actually really want to get done as a part of the system every single morning or every single evening whatever you want you're going to go to your to-do list app where everything now lives and you're going to end the day calendar block it or at least Put your tasks in the order that you want to achieve them. Always fine to replan as the day goes by, but you want to have a general idea of how your day is going to go. Number six, get into the habit of capturing everything. Every little thing you think of that you need to do, whether that is taking out the trash or vacuuming your house, put it into your to-do list. It's going to be so much easier if everything lives in one place. Remember, over capturing is better. You can always delete it from your inbox and it's better than having to try to get your brain to remember that thing that it already forgot. I know this sounds like a lot. If you want specific guidance, if you want it done for you, or if you want me to hold your hand while we do this together, check out the link in the description because I love working one-on-one -on -one and I love building productivity systems with people. The link will be in my description so you can figure out how we can do that together. In case you want my help in setting up a system that is completely tailored to you. And that is it for this really long video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope that you're gonna check out Acupo. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, do all the things. Make sure to stick around so that you can see the rest of the series. I'll definitely leave the playlist for that over here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.